Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. Energy here. We are back on Subnautica, and I have some good slash bad news. Now, it is the middle of the night. I apologize for that. But, as you can see here, the base looks slightly different. That's where the good slash bad news, it's more bad news than good news, comes in. I came in, I loaded my game up, and of course they only have one save. It's kind of annoying. And I realized I had more blueprints than I thought I had had. So I looked through there, and it had given me more blueprints for free. Actually, a lot of blueprints for free. Maybe all of them, I'm not quite sure. So, um... I have already saved, and I already had that all set up, so I couldn't just, you know, go back to an earlier save and reset. Hey, I finally got some fruit. So, I decided to restart, redo everything. Um, the base looks almost identical. Um, I actually got some of this fruit now, though. There's some Chinese potatoes here. Got some lantern fruit, which I found on the back side of the island, and uh, marble, marble melon, that's right. Um, also, I have no lights, because I haven't discovered that yet. So apparently that was one of those things that it gave me. Um, so yay. Also, in here, I have my fabricator, and I have a battery charger. It gave me a modification station, I think I put here, and a power cell charger. Yes, so I, don't, I haven't used those yet, and I don't have them anymore. Unfortunately. Also, I was able to put in picture frames. All you need is copper wires for that. I figured this looked kind of cool. There's my chair. Not enough space to set. What do you mean? Oh, whatever. It looks cool nonetheless. And then I got two lockers. There's really nothing in them right now. I didn't know what to put in them. And I have an aquarium behind it. So I figured I could put some of my favorite fish in there. Uh, speaking of fish, I moved the uh, water alien containment thing from there to here. And now I have some hoop fish in here. And I have four acid mushrooms in here as of right now. A little low on water, it looks like. But the good thing is, is I basically now have infinite food while I'm at my base. But when I'm not at base, it's a little bit harder. So I'm going to have to figure that out in a little bit. I'm going to get one of these. And one of these. Ooh. I do have a question for you guys. Maybe you guys know. Do marble melons, the small ones, do they get bigger and grow into the full size ones? Because these are full size. And those are smalls. So, I don't know what to think of those. Nonetheless, I need one more of these. Get myself up to snuff. I probably should just drink some water. That'd be easier. There we go. And I'm going to grab a little bit of extra water. Boop. And boop. And we're good to go. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing something a little bit different than we normally do. We're going to be heading over uh, in that direction. And we are going to build a small base, quote unquote, in that general vicinity. Because I don't really want to lose Bobber again. Also, Bobber's back out there. Um, he didn't swim away this time. I didn't push him up on land because it was kind of pointless to. Here's my vehicle bay. I have a lot of plans, I just have very little time to do it. Captain. Cool thing is, is I now have 76% energy on this guy again. Because I haven't driven him. Well, I made a new one, I guess, because it's a new game. And I haven't driven him very much. So, we're going to have to figure out how to get him power. That's the only thing I need to work on, or worry about, I guess. And I need to start looking for more blueprints. I'll probably do that off camera again, but this time... It won't be the game giving them to me for free. It'll be me actually getting them. Um, there is the Aurora. I wanted to go to the Aurora. I don't know if I'll finish that in this episode, but I hope we can. Um, nonetheless, it will be very enjoyable to finally see what's on that ship because we got all this stuff off of it and we have no idea if anyone survived. I highly doubt anyone survived. We would have got... Jeez, you scare me every time I hear you. We would have got more um, requests from other people or more uh, information from other people had there been life on there. But there may be alien life on there, which is uh, something I'd like to look into. There's a creep vine. I wonder if I can grow creep vine. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. 
I wonder if I can grow creep vine in my aqua habitat. 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 <laughs> my habitat. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and I found these two um, luggage bags. I don't know what they do. You can't put anything in them. And I need more room at the point, so I think I just chucked them out below there. Oh, creature eggs. I was going to bring those back. Okay, so... Bobber is still doing fine. What I wanted to do is I want to go down here and I want to make a uh, little base of some sense. I guess I should probably get some titanium first. And I'll have to get some more fish to bring back to base at some point. But I wanted to get some titanium and then get started building the base because although I like the base on the island, it's nice to have a little kind of... What is that? Rotten creep vine sample. No, thank you. It'd be nice to have a little bit of extra to live off of in case I'm out here or somewhere else. So I'm going to have more than one base, I guess. Um, and then I want to check out the, uh, the, the Aurora because it's blown up. So I, I figure I can get in now. I guess I never really tried. I have a radiation suit on, so we'll see what happens. I don't see any titanium. I'm going to be back um, once I get some titanium and finally uh, start building the base here. I think I only need four the outside multi-purpose. Okay, so I need four for this and six for that. So I need ten plus a hatch, which is two, and I'll need glass, of course. So, ooh, there's some right now. And I might be able to use this. Sea Glide Fragment as. Alright, so I, oh, you know what? <laughs> Forget about skipping, I just found a whole bunch of stuff right here. Solar panel, I already have that. I think Emergency. that's, Ten seconds of oxygen. I okay. think that's all 12 I need. And surprisingly, I have got so used to not having to breathe underwater because I've been above water this whole time that I keep forgetting that there's an error amount so I might need to check in on that on occasion salt deposit um how many quartz do we need I think I need two quartz yet so we'll get that real quick no need to skip because there should be some right down here in this like chasm area a little bit to the right of here I think I don't know why it has that those lines on here. Oh, there's some right there. Jeez. That came out really handy. Thank you, brain coral fish thingy. And there's the second one, the one I was thinking of. Alright. This is a lot easier than going back and forth for <laughs> for a base. When it's right here. Everything you need is right here. Okay. I think I'm going to put the base right here. Actually... I want a strategic spot, but a place that I can still get to without having any issues. I probably should check out that heat signature at some point. I think I'm just going to set it right on top of the uh, ocean bed here. Because, you know, why not? And then I can find it easily and have room to expand. So there's my titanium. Ooh, I needed three for this. I think I coped for that. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I need to go and get that smelted in there. Oh, and then I need two for the fabricator. I gotta remember that. And this is kind of just a bad. You know, if the bobber does stay here, I won't need the base to be that close. So I might. I might change out and not be there. Okay, so I think I have enough to set me off in the right way. I'm going to go towards the Aurora and try to put a base. Oh, that's lag. That's a lot of lag. I haven't been over here in a while, I guess. I'm going to try to put something over here. I mean, closer to the base. I don't think I'll die. I have a radiation suit. Maybe you can build a base on the Aurora. That would be a great idea. 
As long as the Aurora is not like super dangerous, we'll be good. Yeah, I haven't been here in a long time. You can see everything reloading and everything, so. Actually, I may not have been here at all in this uh, world, which means there might still be something in here. There probably is. How much room do I have? I don't have very much room, but I have a little bit of room. Is there anything in here? Oh, there's a door right there. You serious? There's two doors? Okay. Interesting enough. Anything I can use here? Well, that was, uh, dramatic. Oh! I didn't realize I was that close. Jeez, this place is huge. Okay. Anything I can scan in there. No, 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 and no. So, long as I didn't miss anything in here, I think I'm good. That yeah, was just a wreck. There was nothing in the wreck. Well, that's kind of a pain. Bloop. Oh, what is that? Wait, is this lodged up on land? This is lodged up on land. This is land. Well, goody goody. That's awesome. Hopefully there's nothing too scary over here. I prefer to not be scared. And, uh, <laughs> not die. Ooh. I'm already, I'm already sk spooking myself. Whee. A little bit of lag due to new discovery and things popping out in front of me, of course. That looks dangerous down there. And don't know what that is. Ooh, that's all right. We have a little bit of time to render, but I believe what's that? Oh, battery. Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't know what that is. I prefer it's nothing huge. Gonna murder my butt. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. What did... I think it was a meteorite that hits this. Oh, no. Those are crabs. What are the chances of those things attack me and murder my butt? Well, I can guess I could find out. Here's my knife. They didn't give me a gun. Okay, I can kill him. Okay. Good enough. I need enough time to build a base. If I can even build a base up here. Can I build a base on this? Oh! That's a big one. Can I not build a base? Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Ow. Okay. Learn my lesson. Don't build a base up here. But I can build a base right below it. It's not like it's that dangerous. That I know of. Oh. This may be a very, very bad idea. For more than one reason. I don't even know what that is. I just hear the scariest noises. I don't want to deal with whatever that is. And I don't have to go down if I want to deal with him. You know what? I have changed my mind. I'm not going to build in the base. I'm just going to build right outside of it. Because I know where that is. And hopefully.
hopefully it won't be attacked. It's slightly on shore, so I could try that. Oh! Hey, look at this! I found another life pod! No one inside. Oh, there's a hole in here, though. Nothing seems to be working. I actually went a little bit the wrong way. Number 17. I think we're number 6. So that right there is going to be real interesting. Okay. I'm going this way. I don't know how I didn't see that earlier. That's not that far from my life pod at all. I just happened to go the wrong way. <laughs> what? There is land here? Jeez, I'm just gonna switch everything right here. This seems a lot more doable than what I've been dealing with. I'm just gonna do that. I'm using an underwater base when you got it on top of water base. Yeah, I'm gonna go just move everything over there. Jeez. What is this? Ooh, another signal. Yay! There's signals everywhere around here. Okay, so now I need glass, which of course I didn't grab any glass because it's over there. Mm. That's fine, we'll just grab this again. Take the hatch off. I have to put it back on later Welcome because that's the only way I can get in. But I do need it because that's the only way I can get into my new base. And it's not really that far. I could probably swim back and forth. I don't know why I keep driving my uh, steam moth everywhere, but nonetheless. Okay, I need to put in a door. No power right here. Because I need power. There's one. I think two should do it. But I'll check to see how much quartz I have. I might have enough for three. I do not have enough for three. That's fine. I do need fabricator in here. Is that right here in this wall? Which will be fine. What else do I need in here? Probably not too much. I don't really think I need this base to be all that big. It does need a couple storage places though. Which I need more quartz.
I don't have any quartz. Okay, I don't have any quartz. Emergency power only. What do they mean emergency power? Where's my solar panels go? What? My solar panels just despawned on me. Power restored. All primary systems online. Welcome aboard, Captain. What? I have any more cords in here? No, I don't. Well, shoot. I don't know why that happened. Mm. Anyways, nonetheless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to have to go into the Aurora in the next episode. Because this episode took a lot longer than I thought it would. This thing is huge. Nonetheless, um, I was just going to build a small base. But it turned out to take a lot longer than I thought. And I need to be doing other things. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And I will see you in the next episode. Uh, hopefully in the next episode I will be able to, well, I know for sure, I'll be able to go in and check out the place, maybe even explore around for a while. I don't know how much of the Aurora is actually explorable, but I am looking forward to seeing what happens. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm shooting my kitchen! Now liberate him to fill him with love. <laughs> oh, you've been loved! Yes! So we all stuck, huh? Well, I do. Ow! You jerk! See, as I said. Yep. <laughs> Left! Right? I mean, whatever. What is it? Kill! Shoot! Murder! <laughs> You're dead.